Okay. <clears throat> All right. Probably should have done that before I started. Um, but yeah, so this is uh, another season of uh, Aether Raids and uh, Light Season. Uh, damn. Um, but yeah, so 17, 25, position 25. Let's go see where we are. Uh, I could get 660 if I get two successful in a row. So that's six. Gets me to 13 plus 60. So I have to get perfect on both. Yeah, so if I get three, if I, the first one is going to be 330. So that goes up to 808 plus three is 13, one. So 13,100. Uh, and then I need to get the second one perfect as well. Uh, and then on top of that, let's go take a look here. I have 170 Aether. Oh, actually, that, yeah, that's too low, right? That's, uh, ooh, I guess I'm not going to make it into turn seven this season. That's pretty irritating. Uh, yeah, because I'm only going to get 20, so that boosts me up to 190. Or, no, actually, that's fine, right? Because 20 gets me to 190. Uh, I'll do one for 330. The second one will be for half of that, so I use up 50 out of the 90, which leaves 40, so I have to perfect that one. Uh, and then perfect a third one in a row. So this is going to be um, a pretty tough season, I think. Uh, but yeah, let's see what we got. Uh, let's look down here. I've only got one left, despite the fact that uh, we actually have five of these now because I boosted mine and then I boosted this. So this does 40. Uh, so yeah, this looks pretty tricky. Um, uh, here it goes, I guess. Uh, wait, let's go see. I need... Um, uh, you're there. Okay, you're together. Okay, cool. Let's we'll see how this uh, how this turns out. Okay. So this team doesn't look too bad. Um, Boki can stand here, pop him. Uh, hmm. Actually. Okay. Well, actually, no. It's not as easy as I was originally thinking. So the solitary dream. Okay. No. Yeah. It's actually. They they kind of messed up here, so this probably should have been over here somewhere. This way. Um, so what I'm what I'm thinking of doing is just having Loki stand here, pop him, uh, dancer, and then move her here, and then pop her, um, which will be good because originally uh, I can't take her damage with her. I mean I can take her. I can't counterattack because I have close foil, right? Um, but like Loki will be here. She'll stand here and attack, and she won't be able to move, right? Oh, okay, never mind, actually, no. Okay, so only Dragon Knight. Okay, so th this is what I was worried about. Um, Loki standing here, and then her standing here, and then hitting Loki. Um, I, always, I A lot of times I end up putting more... Uh, what's the word? More emphasis on, on like, uh, you know, these, these dancers... Or not these dancers, these, these uh, wand healers, or... Um, like, a lot. sometimes I'll put too much emphasis on him. Uh, but I don't think it'll be that big a deal. Oof. I don't think it'll be that big a deal. Oh my gosh, dude. This is ridiculous. Sorry about that. I'm just looking at something else there. Uh, so yeah, let's see. Tiki. Now, the biggest problem here is that, um... There's two dragons. <clears throat> it's going to be decently difficult to deal with, um, with only since I don't have close foil. Hmm. Yeah. Uh, but like I said, I, I often end up putting too much weight on her, like in terms of like, oh, she'll she'll really do a lot of damage to me. So what I think might be kind of interesting to do is like just barrel down this side, take her out, dance her, and then take her out. <clears throat> um, well, I don't have any dancers, so I think I should be safe. Let's see. Well, no, you don't have any movement. You don't have any movement. You don't have any movement. Okay. I think it should be safe um, standing here and popping her and then like just swiping her out or something, just like pulling her down. Um, hmm. 
Okay, so that's kind of interesting. So, yeah, I think that's what I'm going to end up doing. I'm just wondering what how, how I should go about that. Like, should I bring a Versa into this? Should I bring Double Dancer into this? Hmm. Because I want to bring this team. The only, like I said, the only question I have is, do I want to bring them or do I want to bring two dancers instead? Because uh, my only problem is I might miss the kill on her. You can go blah. Use plus four to everything. Gonna get a minus six defense. This is only gonna hit her and her. It's not gonna hit her. So she's not losing res or attack. So she's gonna have minus nine defense, which puts her down to 26. Or 28, I mean. And I can I'll I'll be able to double her, I think. Hopefully, anyway. I think I have 44 speed. Uh, plus, she's taking three. So, 44 minus 41 minus three is um, 38 speed. But she's got this. I think uh, I think I'll just bring. Uh, yeah, I think I'll just bring them in there. Plus, she has. Um, Tank effectiveness, so that's going to be good for helping me hurt uh, this guy here. Uh, so yeah, I think that's, yeah, we'll just go with that. Uh, da, da, da. Yeah, this is the proper team. Uh, fortunately, the two um, pots are really easy to take out here, so if I lose this one, it'll be solely on, like, um, just losing. I'll at least have the pots, but I do need to perfect it regardless. <sighs> hmm. Do I want to, let's hit, yeah, let's see, let's hit, uh... I want to, actually, let's, let's take a look at, see if how this works. Okay, so she got hit by that. What I'm interested in seeing here is will they start scrambling around, like her come here and then heal her because of that trap? Um, Maybe this way. Funny, funny. Put you here, put you there. Certainly. Okay. Um, and then here, We're stuck here, I guess. Uh, so what healed her? I have no idea what healed her there. Yes. So basically this is free. I can dance her and then flip her back and I'm good. Yeah, okay, I like this. Um, okay. Let's dance you, bring you back. Um, let's pop this. Start having you make your way to go over there and kill uh, Surter. Okay, so ah, the bot knew more than he should have. Um, oh, I'm getting hit by this. This is bad. Uh, this hits 60 and less. So well, why it hit her? I'm not entirely sure. I am going to let her fight her period, so I'm just going to put her, oh, I can't.
together. Okay, he, he can only stand here, so let's get everybody else out of the wait. Okay, I gotta get you out of the way. Well, I could leave him. I could leave her there. Basically, I could leave everybody where they are because she doesn't. She yeah, she never really does enough damage to really be relevant. Um, smite. So she can't smite anybody anywhere. She's kind of stuck where she is, so that's fine. Yeah, I'm just gonna let her hit whoever she wants out of those two. Oof. Don't forget about that healing. Okay. Okay, so this should be pretty easy, right? So I need to flip you over here. Uh, oop, actually no. Um, so I know this trap isn't real. Okay, so now all that's left is her, but she can move, so it's important to realize that uh, you should be very careful here. Oh, that was dangerous. Um, so she can stand here and here, and then hit here, here, and here. Uh, so it's important to be very careful. I hit her for. Let's see. Can she? So she. Yeah. She. I don't think she can outspeed me. But who has chill speed? Somebody does. You have chill speed. So. You should never really underestimate uh, her, especially like she has this. She's gonna get this because she's now no longer adjacent to Alm. Okay, there we go. I'm telling you, uh, Peony is just ridiculous. Okay. Uh, and then Serter basically made himself uh, free. I didn't even have to use my duo skill, so. Okay, so now let's actually put her in the right position so she can do this. Uh, and yeah, that's uh, that's how it is. Um, that team was particularly weak, I think. Um, yeah, there wasn't anything too special about uh, beating that team, unfortunately. Uh, so tier 26, all right, we made it. Okay, so, I mean, yeah, we still have a, a decent way to go there, but... Um, we're at least in 26. Let's go check rewards, see what our rank is. Rank. Okay, so I, at least I get a green chair. Uh, I think if I play my cards right, I can just end up with at least a, uh, the blue chair. The blue chair. Um, of course, I really want another <laughs> red chair, but that, that's fine. So let's go recalculate real quick, just because uh, it'll be easier. So I take... One sixty-five per victory, so I really do need both victories. Mm, One sixty-five here gets me to two sixty-five, two seventy-three, I guess. Oh, that's not enough to break out of here, so I need to get the both both of them. Two sixty-five. I need three hundred, right? One fifty. I need at least one fifty per fight. So yeah, I was just trying to see if like was is there a situation where I could lose. Um, a unit and still be good, but no, I need to make sure I don't lose any units for these next two. And the second, and this next one, I need to make sure uh, I really do take both those aether pots. So let's just be very careful. Okay, so basically, I think I just won already right because here's here's what I'm thinking let's put let's put uh put a uh, bulky here stand here kill him 
Uh, dancer, somehow I need a dancer to stand her here and then hit her. And then everything else is free. Um, yeah, everything else is free. Wings of Mercy is fine. Uh, I have effectiveness on her even if she has this and uh, this. Uh, I'm gonna hit her twice. Yeah, hopefully I can just kill her on the one shot, but that's gonna be kind of hard. Yeah, this is very interesting. Um, still not wholly uh, that strong, but definitely interesting. Um, especially because like I can just tank out a lot of the stuff. So I'm going to have to start clearing out this stuff on this side. Oh, this looks really annoying actually for getting all the pots. Mm. Let's see, if I kill her and then kill him, she can stand here and then hit there and that's kind of it. Okay, what about... Ugh. I think one of the nicer things about Kronia that a lot of people... Um, not necessarily they don't value, but don't really... Yeah, like... like People oftentimes focus a lot on the... Uh, the fact that a Thame has Vantage built in. Like, just as like, oh, let's put Vantage and then Special Spiral and there we go. Now we have a uh, uh, really strong Kronia. But I think it's it's a little understated um, just how useful the uh, what's it called the null C disrupt is just because of how many um, Veronicas you see on defense uh, day to day. Hmm. I guess my question it comes down to like because. So, so one of the issues I'm having right here is, in fact, that uh, I can't kill him and her without possibly putting um, one of my dan. Uh, well, I mean, I might be running one or two depending on how this goes, but uh, one of my dancers, one or two of my dancers, um, in harm's way, right? And like I said, we can't lose a single unit. Um, Yeah. Very, very curious what I should do. Actually, so yeah, I think I'm just going to go with this. I think I'm going to... Let's take a turn, trigger this. Take a, uh, it, If this triggers, we'll take another turn and uh, trigger this. Um, and at that point, we should be kind of solid, right? So if this, is, if this isn't real... I can have Boki be here, have Aversa like launch her into this. Well, I might just be able to launch her there, so I'll just launch her into this. Forward one and two and kill her. Hmm. Yeah, no, okay, well, I guess launch her into this. I might not even have to. Yeah, she could just stand here and then launch her from here to here, hit him. No, I will have to because I need to test this to make sure my dancer can stand here, dance her after she kills him. And then move her here and hit her. And then the rest of these should fall apart. The problem being that I'm probably, I, like, I'm very skeptical that I will get these two pots. They might just crash into Loki and die before I get them, which is really, really going to suck. Um... But also, the other problem with this strategy is thinking about, uh, yeah, is thinking about um, where to put my dancer to get this plan off here. So, Aversa is going to be, Boki's here, Aversa is going to be here, she's going to smite her up here. My dancer can stand here, I guess, yeah, she'll stand here and then hit that. Or, or stand here, dancer, and then she'll move there. But if it, seeing as it's going to be Peony, 
Can Peony survive? What's going on here? Not this peony. This is not the right peony. This peony. Speed. So I'm getting outsped pretty dramatically there. No, 42. Okay, I thought it was... I had these reversed. I thought it was like 47. That did seem kind of weird. Um, I guess, yeah, that's the other question. Is like, Do I want two dancers? Because um, two dancers... Hmm. This team is is not really th that good, but it's also not nothing. Um, it's really good for annoying me though, because it means I won't get these two aether pots. I do have an escape ladder, of course, like I mentioned. But um, if they all end up crashing against me on her turn, on their turn, um, I might not be able to grab them. Oh man, so it's just she's not gonna die. Um, there's really no point in me putting her here and then sniping her. Wow, that's a lot of stats. Oh my gosh. Yeah, so this is a very oh my gosh, this is a very scary unit. I don't understand what the fuck. <sighs> why would you why would you build that? That is disgusting. Oh my gosh. Somebody really liked Ingrid. Mm, damn. Like that even the plus ten on the Bramimond or the uh, anything else really. What about you? Nope, <laughs> nothing. Just plus 10 hardcore onto Ingrid. Um, okay, well that makes this a little more interesting because I, I just kind of took her for granted that she wasn't, I was going to die against her, but um, this does look pretty interesting. Uh, what does your Lance do? Yeah, that is a very interesting unit. I mean, I could just dance. I could just um, push her here and then have her hit her. The problem is, there's too many dancers. There's two dancers, and I can't just like hit one of them and run away. I really like if I am going in, I have to commit and hopefully kill every single person I come across. Um, which of course is the. The sniper's mantra, right? Have a plan to kill everyone you come across. Yeah, this uh, this Ingrid here. She's actually so tanky that I think maybe I might have to run. Um, her and even then might not be enough. Um. So this is a, a this is an interesting spot to me here because I'm going to be attacked by her and her of course uh, he can't without a dance but the important thing is he's not going to be here uh, and then he'll dance and whatever and I'm also guarded you know what I mean like they they can't if Boki can sit here and bait and I leave uh, like uh, Lancina here then I might just be able to take out a lot of this stuff the problem being there again is that. <laughs> Um, they're all probably just going to crash into me, except for her, right? She's going to hit me, and then, I mean, if any of them, she's going to hit me first. She's going to get danced, hit me again. Um, and, you know, I'm already down a whole bunch of health before anything else. So she's going to be standing here, hitting me there, and then she's going to fly forward and then just, uh, crash into me. And then she's going to, let's see. So he's probably going to stand here. She's going to come here, dance her. Yeah, so I mean, here, so this is an interesting bait position here. Um, it, it's kind of like a, re a reverse bait, right? Like, I think the person who made this defense set it up this way so that it would look like, well, maybe I can bait here, but I think um, problematically, uh, Veronica can stand here, hit you here, She can he can move forward, she can dance her again, hit you again, then he can move here, dance her again, and hit you for three times without any retaliation whatsoever. Um, of course, I think what I want to point out here, though, um, uh, which is funny to me, is that uh, this is one of those situations where you're you're punished for not playing the meta. So essentially, this is this entire situation would be like ridiculously uh, easy if I just had a bike with Nulsi 
uh, follow up or an LC disrupt. Uh, so she'd be dead. She'd be dead because it's uh, green, on, green on blue, and you know whatever. Uh, he looks kind of interesting, um, but I think it's hard to like. There's not much you can do against 40 and eight, and then 80 percent damage reduction. Um, and then you know her just gonna dance whatever. And this would be a good bait for for bike. So this is basically tailor made for bike, and it's it's one of those situations where it's like, well, this is why you made bike. Um, of course, what's his name there? Uh, Bramimon might still uh, ultimately uh, just kill you at the end, but you've got a decent chance with bike uh, with Boki. It's not. It's not going to happen. So <sighs> so yeah, I think what's interesting to me is uh, basically how unkillable, how colossally, monstrously unkillable she is. I mean, she's approaching bike levels of cannot die. Um, which, like, like I said, it could be a benefit to me because, let's see, if I put, can anybody hit here? She can stand here, not here. He can hit that. Can she hit? She stands here and all she hits is here. You can only hit there. Two, three can hit there, there, and there. So nobody can hit here, right? So the reason I'm 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 mentioning that I'm I'm pointing this out here is because I'm kind of thinking about uh, putting Loki here, sniping him, uh, putting my dancer here, and then sniping her, and then like having like air uh, reposition the dancer out of harm's way here, um, but then air would be here, which means <sighs> unfortunately, if she survives, if she comes down here and fights her and survives. He's gonna dance her, and now she'll be in range to come hit, um, to come hit air, right? Hmm. This is very interesting. So personally, I'm 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 fairly certain I can survive. Oh my gosh, dude, 62 attack. That is ridiculous. Or 62 speed. Plus 5. 67 speed. I'm debating whether or not I should just bolt tower her so she's down to 24 and hopefully I can just one shot her. Um, she gets, it gets reduced by 50, but if I can do like 50 damage then she'd be dead. Um, but I, I really need to pick a team to solidify this because it's just nebulous at the moment. Do I want to go two dancers? Do I have any visible buffs? Uh, you have speed. Don't have anything. You don't have anything either. You don't have anything. So she has more speed from here, which is oh wait, that's good. Okay. Odd number turn. She's gonna be at a minus nine speed. This puts her down to fifty three. That's still what what I would consider to be an excessive amount. Yeah, 53 plus the 5, that's 58 speed. There's no way I'm outspeeding her. I think, unfortunately, uh, it's going to have to be Mikaya. Just for the insane amount of damage I need to overcome this Ingrid, which I originally thought was not going to be that big a deal. Um... Yeah, I guess I need to test out. If I can kill her in one shot. That's pretty... That's a, that's a decently tall ask, man. 
Hmm. This is an interesting team. Um, I think one dancer is fine. I think I can do this with one dancer. She has 46 speed plus 7 from here. Damn, like as soon as the stat attack speed 3 came out and then, you know, subsequently 4, everybody just threw it right on their Veronica's. Like nobody even asked questions or like batted a freaking eye. They just were like, attack speed push? Great, finally. And they just threw that shit on there. Um, I don't know if I'd put it on her. I don't use her on defense, so that's less valuable to me, but... Still, like I said, it's just a very powerful thing to have on her. Um, that's interesting. I wonder who has a tech speed push for. I mean, Camilla does, right? Is she the only one? I think there's a couple more, but um, yeah, because I still have both. I, well, I merged my Camillas together, so I wasted two uh, wasted two attack speed pushes, or or I wasted one attack speed push. Um, but yeah. Uh. I think maybe I should, I should probably just go in there, uh, see what kind of damage number, what kind of numbers I'm looking at, um, and then uh, from there, yeah, and then from there, uh, oh, look at that, see what kind of damage numbers I'm pushing, and then from there, decide whether to, um, to basically scoop or uh, keep going, um, but this team is very tricky. Especially this, like she's bonus unit, plus uh, all the stuff, the massive investments uh, they put into this. Um, yeah, this is uh, this is no joke. Deflect missile, because that's the only thing she's going to be weak to is bows. They successfully uh, removed her only weakness, which was bows, uh, the long way around, <laughs> right? Um, instead of just putting on IO shield and the sacred seal. Hmm. Oh, let's just get in there. Um, where is this one? I think I'm gonna go with this. This looks fine. Yeah. I want to see what kind of damage I'm doing to her. Bramimon's uh, colorless tome is uh, oppressive as always. Um, yeah, let's see. 62 speed. That is, like, <laughs> ridiculous. Um, so there's no way I'm, I'm doubling her. So I only have one shot. I, I can only one shot her, basically, is what the point is. Let's take a look here. And she's out of range, too, so... Um, put you here. I want to test out this block here. Oh, that looks way easier. Okay, so I'm going to test out this block. Okay, so here's the strat, right? I am going to activate this at some point to help me kill her. Uh, test out this block and then, um, you know, do whatever I'm gonna do there, um, whether it's fake or not, right? So my my plan is now I'm going to have you stand here, uh, hit her, hopefully kill her with uh, what I get from this and and a versus bone uh, debuffs as well. Uh, so kill her, right, like that, and then dance her, have her stand here. And then hit Bramimond. Right now, she can't move and she can't move. She can hit me, but she's not going to do enough damage. He can do whatever he's going to do. Yeah, okay. I, I like that. It's good. It's gold. Okay. So I need to get this all ready to go. Um. Okay. So I need to let's let's think about this. So I need air. You need to be over here. Okay. So I'm gonna have her there. I'm gonna dance her. 
right? And then she's gonna move from here. I'm gonna so I'm gonna move her down here and then have her flip her back this way. So let's uh, uh I need and then I need to get um a versa. A versa needs to get as far down here as possible. Well, okay. So she needs to be here to trigger this. Uh, Cause I need it on him to make sure I can stand here and secure the kill. Um, so that's about it. So these two are the, the two people I need to hit with that, which is good. Uh, my bolt tower is hitting her, which is giving me another advantage. So I can wait till turn three to do that. Um, and finally, I need to make sure she can get down here to pop this. Since she's gonna, since Boki is gonna stand here, she can't hit me, and she will. Which means that I'll have a turn to survive and then pop this and then have to figure out how to get this over here, right? One, two, three. So you can hit this spot here and she is going to be here. Okay, so... Yeah, let's get some let's get some stuff going on here. Okay, so they got all three here. Wow, sixty-four to sixty-eight, nice. Seven, three. Okay, so let's put you here. Um, let's put you here. I'm gonna put you forward here, and she's gonna stand here. Pop that. And I'm gonna go over here and flip her this way. No. No, wait. Stand here, move her down here, and flip her back. Let's see how this does. Okay, so that's not real. I don't even have to do that, actually. I can just Aversa boost her up there, and then whether it's real or not doesn't really matter. Um, okay, I think I'm just going to do that. Okay, so that's, that sounds good. I'm going to put you here just in case for whatever reason. And you see? Okay, you guys can see this now. I'm not going insane. Uh, so I lost there because they started moving. I'm not entirely sure why they moved. Uh, if anybody... Obviously no one comments on any of my videos, but... Um, if any of you out there know why they moved, even though I wasn't in any... Uh, I wasn't on any tile they should have moved on. Uh, everybody was off red tiles and their range did not expand whatsoever. Um, so yeah, if anybody knows why that happens, uh, please feel free to let me know. Uh, but yeah, so I mean, what can you do? Um, took an L here out of just ignorance. Um, like I said, there's nothing I can do about that. I can't control. Um, I've, I've looked around. Um, but it's hard to find information on here, and then Acarus never really has a lot of uh, straightforward videos. A lot of them are really roundabout ways of explaining things for no real reason. Um, so yeah, uh, yeah. like I said, any, any of you know why this happens, uh, feel free to let me know, because I have no idea. Uh, but yeah, so basically lost this one on that one. So that free, uh, that free ladder we got uh, burned for nothing. Um... <laughs> that was all it was funny though because that was a lot of strategy for no real reason whatsoever um okay so let's go in there uh free up some space so for those of you you really do want to take off the escape ladder i mean hopefully you remember to put it back on because it's very important um but you'll want to remove the escape ladder just because the space you get from down here is a little easier uh especially when like you're fighting cav lines uh you don't want to like have nowhere to retreat back to uh, so that was my bad entirely, I guess. Um, take the L on that one myself. Uh, let's see, one plus one. Uh, of course, she's boosted through the roof because of uh, bonus unit. I kind of almost prefer the uh, the other one because now I have to fight against uh, this nonsense. Uh, so this is basically what uh, throwing money at this game looks like. So you get your uh, your Ophelia, your uh, Lysithia, your plus one Byleth, and then your plus one Chrom. Well, that's actually not that bad. Uh, and then your plus nine. I mean, that, that that's like, you can get that over time. She's been out long enough. And then this is, again, you, you, you get these over time. Okay, so I figured this would be a lot of plus tens. But no, this is more like, you don't really... 
have much uh, strategic creativity, so you just kind of put everything that's good uh, right on the front line. Um, let's see, so what, what can I do here? What, what can be done? So there, there's like two ways of doing this. I can either go through here and then start popping people here. Felia's got that. She doesn't have anything. Chrome's gonna be a huge pain in my ass, but not the worst. Uh, she can hit me without getting retaliated on, so that's kind of annoying too. So basically, this just looks like a giant loss, I think. So here's my here's my plan, right? I need to get I want to get Loki here. Leave these buildings here. So get Loki here, and hit him. Hopefully, killing him. Uh, and hopefully he retaliates back with enough damage that I'm in vantage range. Oh, I, I can vantage her anyway. Uh, so I need to... Basically what this means also is that I need to bring my double dancers um, to, to get enough speed to compete with her. Not outspeed her because she still has this and, and we'll just this. Yeah, so she gets 10 extra speed. Hmm, that's interesting. What to do, what to do. Yeah, I think it, this looks like a, a major L for me. Um, and I think some of this might be alleviated. I'm not going to say like, oh yeah, all this would be fixed if, uh, if I had X, whatever. Uh, but I think some of this might be alleviated with like... Um, with Norn, because this way, uh, like, actually, I, I might just be able to, I might, maybe I should just uh, do it for um, Boki as well. No, actually, yeah, there's nothing really Norn exclusive, ex exclusive, uh, exclusive about it. I think what uh, the way to go should probably be uh, to take off the, what, what do I have on her? The, um, the, the defense smoke. Uh, take off the defense smoke and give her a, uh, what is it, the, uh, Give her the the pulse or what is it, the, the 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 pulse smoke? Is it is that it? Yeah, I think it's yeah the pulse smoke uh, because that might that would solve a decent amount of my problems. So for one, I don't know if it pushes your your special pass max, but anyway, like for one, I no longer have to worry about like basically that what what the pulse smoke does is it makes it so you don't ever really have to worry about Ophelia anymore. Because uh, as soon as you hit something, her char, her special charge goes up one. Um, and then on her turn, she can't really do anything to you. She'll hit you once, but then you'll counterattack and destroy her because she doesn't have any good defense. She's got decent speed a lot of time, but most of the time you can outspeed her. It's not that big a deal. Um, but yeah, so Pulse Smoke is a very good choice. It's one of the reasons I put, um, I put it on uh, Felicia. Uh, the other reason Felicia has it over... Um, Boki is Boki benefits from the minus defense, right? Like it means I can secure kills against other people going forward. But Felicia already has that because she's an assassin, so she gets the dagger, um, the dagger ability, which reduces their defense and res by seven. Um, whereas, which basically boosts your attack by seven, right? Whereas, uh, whereas Loki does not. So like I'm just running a regular bow. Um, so it's a question I have to consider um, whether it's better to to drop the 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 killing whether it's better to, to drop the the um, higher kill the higher the higher kill security or take uh, yeah drop the higher kill security or or just take the pulse smoke for general usage and 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 I think like pulse smoke is generally pretty good too it's not just like oh it's just there for Ophelia I mean any everybody charges specials uh, denying that special charge is always a good thing um, you know you'd be surprised how many like matchups you lose because maybe they had like a green axe into your red and they still beat you because they had the charge or something like that right um, so reducing people's charges is is oftentimes a good thing um, problematically here so this team isn't as hard as one might 
think it is, but it's still very difficult because I need to kill her and her. I can, I'm fine taking her damage. A lot of times I can tank his damage. Um, this one seems like higher than normal, so 63 attack is pretty high. He's not really fast enough to double unless his bow gives him a double. Okay, yeah. Um, so I don't plan on being full HP, so this should not uh, affect me really. Uh, what else? Uh, conversely, there's no dancers here, so I think what I might end up doing is just like leaving Boki here to bait her out, and then having them like scramble around and basically destroy their own formation. Uh, yeah. So let's see, ground order. So she can she tells people unit can move, so she gives that to everybody else, but she can't really move towards anybody. And baiting her out this way puts her here. She infantry and armor. Okay, so this means that other people can move to her. So she's probably gonna stand here. Uh, the other problem is like he has this. So she he just jumps over somebody and then gets to move again. Uh, but uh, yeah, I think after not <laughs> well. It's not careful consideration, but after a little bit of consideration at the very least, I think maybe the way to go is putting, um, bringing, well, putting Boki here, but I guess the question now is, do I bring, uh, let's see, do I bring Lancina or do I bring something else? And I'm thinking maybe I should bring Lancina. Um, yeah, I'm thinking maybe I should bring Lancina to get for, I mean, for one, uh, the stats, so the stats, she gives you plus three, right? To everything, which it's like, it's good, but it's also like, is it really worth not having the minus three on all of your opponents on the other side over there? Um, and generally they're about the same, right? I mean, Unless, right, of course, you know, they, they have buffs and whatnot, but it doesn't look like they have any buffs here, uh, so to speak of. So, yeah, no, there's no visible buffs. So what that means, right, is that uh, the Aversa is not going to be very useful. Uh, but then my the other question that comes out is, do I want to, should I bring um, uh, Wedding Micaiah, right, for the extra damage? Like, will that be enough, or should I bring Lancina, like... Lancina will help me get survive, get a little more survivability, but I I'm not entirely sure it's enough compared relative to like how much damage they're putting out and how much damage I need to retaliate back with them. Because um, obviously Lancina gives you like three attack and three speed, which isn't like much. Um, but yeah, that's something I, I really got to consider here in this situation. So let's take a look here. Um, we have. Let's take a look at what she's what she's packing here. So she's gonna hit me for a glimmer. I don't think she can outspeed me if I run two dancers, which is what I have now. Like all of them, I think have two dancers. So no matter what, I think I'm at fifty something speed. So I think she's gonna outspeed me. She's gonna hit me once with the glimmer. And Hades, what does Hades do? It uh... so it gives her plus ten attack plus the eight from this. So she's at 78 attack, four res. 78 attack plus the glimmer. Um, well, the glimmer is calculated based on how much damage you're doing, not so much how much. It's how much is getting through. So if I have, you know, it calculates damage dealt by 50%. Yeah. So I think right. It's not. It's not 50% of the 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 70 that she's gonna hit me with. It's 50% of like. Her attack minus my defense, I think. I'm pretty sure. So, let's see. So it's 70. She's doing, what, 8, 78 damage, right? 78? Yeah, 78. So, 78. I have... Let's go back here a second. Boki is going to have... Wow, that's very low. Uh, 30, 38 plus the 7 is 45 right 78 minus 45 is 38 33 so i'm taking 33 on that one hit which is a, 
indeed. Um, so I think I should be able to tank her hit, right? Hopefully, anyway. Uh, the other major problem here is, of course, that these all of the, these two are really far off. I can probably get a Versa or someone to come over here and start chipping away at this and take that one, but that's only going to give me five. I need to I need to find some way to take this here. So I think I'm going to put her there and then have someone here popping this, so that I can start making my way forward and then taking this. And then they've got the duels hindrance, so I can't use the... Okay, so the Bridal Micaiah thing is sort of thrown out the window because... Um, yeah, basically because of that, uh, there's no real reason to bring her in here. Um, so this is two dancers. Yeah, I guess, I mean, Averse is really the only one I can think about bringing. Like I said, I've, I can bring her. So yeah, it comes down to either Aversa or... Lancina. Let's go see what's uh yeah. Oof, this is a difficult one. Uh of course the the Lancina means I can charge my special faster. Um so yeah, I mean I guess that's kinda interesting because it means that I'll survive that a little more, right? So she's gonna hit me. I'm gonna have my special charged, and I'm gonna hit her back. And do some amount of damage. So 20 minus my 50 plus what, like 10 or 7. So let's say, yeah, so I've, I'm doing 60 damage to her. 45. I'm getting 20 of that back. So I'm reducing basically her damage by 20 um, in that scenario. Hmm. I'm going to have to pop this too. So she goes down here and here and then pop here. Yeah, this is this is really hard. Um, oof! It's look so it's looking like maybe getting these uh, pots is going to be basically a no go this time around. Which means that, that that keeps me out of tier 27, if that's the case. So what is how does Lancina's ability really work here? If foe initiates combat against those allies, grant special cooldown charge plus one. Yeah, so since I have noon time, she's gonna hit me once. I'm gonna retaliate. Um, with the noon time, heal up, and then hopefully double her back. Um, I feel like that might be the solution there. My speed is going to be, so she's got. She's got 41 speed. My speed is 44 plus 8 because I have two peonies. That's 52. That's already 9, 10, 11. That's 11. I'm 11 speed higher than her. She gets 4. So I'm 7. I'll get 3 from. Uh, I'll get three from Peony. Yeah, I think I think I'll be I think I'll be fine. Let's uh let's just go in there and then three from Peony and then three from Lancina. Yeah, all right. Let's see. Let's see if um that was a solution, right? It's just um who's this? Okay, so that's that. So we'll put you here. I want you here. Okay, so here's 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 the plan. She's going to go forward and pop this to make sure I don't get these debuffs because they're pretty irritating. Uh, I'm going to slide her under here to dance her and then she's going to move here. No, actually, okay. 
So she'll be there, a dance her. I'm gonna put her here to hit that. Right. And then I'll slide her under here to flip her back down. And then we'll be primed for uh, turn two there. Um, yeah, hopefully, I mean, obviously this is going to be risky no matter what, but uh, hopefully this turns out fine. Also, another point to, to, to make here. I want to do this, this whole baiting thing down here, before turn 3 happens, before my bolt tower goes off. Because uh, this here, no actually never mind, no I don't, uh, yeah no it's fine, never mind. I was kind of hoping they would kind of get out of position so that my bolt tower could be more permanent damage, but that doesn't look like it's going to be uh, the case here. So yeah, hopefully I can outspeed her and deal enough, or just basically deal enough damage to her. Um, so let's move you here. Let's pop this. Good morning. What's next? Funny, funny. Death's caress. Okay, I'm gonna get air to start working on over there. Uh, and then this. So this is gonna be here. So I need her here. So. Because, uh, let's see, what do you have? Oh, actually, I'm going to wait next turn just to get the plus 7 to res. Just uh, just to be sh just to be a little on the safer side. Uh, yeah, okay, so let's try wait a turn. Okay. Uh, so no one here is debuffed by anything except for you. You're dropping speed, but that's not that big a deal. Yes. Um, so this is very dangerous now because... He can uh, open, what is it called? Open, change the future to, uh, to change fate. He gets to change fate on her and then stand here and then have another turn. So he just walks here and hits uh, her. As it is now, he can go here. One, two, he can hit here and here. So she's going to be, I'm going to have to leave her there. Of course. Uh, 47 speed to 41 speed. I am going to... Oh man, this is so tempting. Um, I can one shot her for fifty-one damage. All right, let's 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 take some time to like look at everything here. So I can't outspeed her for some reason. Oh, cause I have this uh, debuff. I think once that's gone, though, I should be fine. Obviously, she's gonna die. Uh, Forty-nine over here. Um. Yeah, so let's put you... So I basically, uh, I mean mainly the, re the reason I did that was for the plus 6 to attack here. And my, okay there it is, yeah. I was like, where's my plus 7 uh, res? So now we're going to move her back to clear the debuffs. And then put her right here and then see, hopefully, um, you know be uh, pretty good at that so I'm gonna put over here bring uh, what's her name over here to help her out so let's see what happens let's see if I can survive anything in this any of this hmm okay so everybody's take everybody's wasting their turns rallying each other I didn't get to double her which is pretty irritating uh, as far as that goes uh, perfect uh, so that's basically um, what I wanted you're still out of range now. You are gonna do something annoying. I can just imagine it. Um, so, damn, this is a lot of work uh, to beat this team and not make tier 27, which kind of sucks because, yeah, because I'm not gonna be able to take those pots no matter what. Uh, so let's hit you, just get rid of you because there's no reason not to. I am going to dance you Hmm, okay. So I'm gonna dance her.
unfortunately we are at a interesting point here because um, I really need to kill her but um, yeah like if I if I make a move now right because I, I can dance uh, I can dance her Oof. Uh, I can dance her um, and then come over here bring you smite her forward here and then like just slide here and then hit her and she's dead right um, but that's not that leaves um, that leaves let's see can I well that's very interesting uh, what are you how, how do you hit me here okay that's that's a little more interesting I think right because I can so here's 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 what I'm thinking now uh, I am gonna put dance her come up here stand here smite her here right stand here and then pop her okay okay right then come over here dance dance her because she's in this position now move her here this way Loki is here with the buffs from her and the buffs from her against these three. Now her, I can't counterattack her, and I can't counterattack her. So the problem being that I am going to have to survive like the full brunt of what these two are putting out, without even mentioning the fact that Krom is here, um, just threatening lots of damage as well. Conversely. I could just leave things as they are and then let them move because none of these units are, they're, we're all out of range, so they're all going to have to do something stupid, um, which probably I can take advantage of once they can, I can start sniping them, right? Because now, like, air could probably kill him, maybe one-shot him, like right now anyway, um, not later though. Um, maybe. Let's see, what was he? He's uh, 36. I don't know, maybe. Um, no, he's actually got 40. Plus, I'm dropping 3 here, so it basically boosts him up to 43. Um, but anyway, so... Yeah, that looks... <sighs> Again, it's risky. It's more risk, but, uh... We're relatively, like... Done here anyway, so let's just get this. Um, okay, so that's that. So, I mean, what's obviously would be nice would be to pop this, but obviously I can't. Uh, da, da, da. Uh, let's go take a look here. And it's interesting too because, and I, it's something I really need to think about more, a little bit more now, especially because Boki is going to be on uh, Astra season. Or light season. Uh, Sothis is something you really have to consider. Like you could probably run. Well, no, yeah, there's one on each side, right? So Sothis is something you always have to consider. Uh, better teams usually don't have Sothis. They'll run like anything else, like maybe two um, two Yunes or something. Um, but Sothis is still an irritant. Like she's never really going to be that big a threat, especially. But like this one's like a plus ten or almost a plus ten. Um, so I really don't have any other choice. I really need to uh, snipe this Ophelia because, out of like, I can. There's a possibility I might survive them. There's really no possibility of surviving an Ophelia like ever, except for that one time I, I did survive one. Which is kind of interesting. Uh, I can outspeed you. You only do 29 damage. I have 56. Yeah, I have a decent amount of damage on me. Like I said, it's not looking like I'll make tier 27. So let's uh, let's just kind of uh, you know experiment. I guess. I mean, it's not really experimenting. It's sort of just like fucking around and see what happens. Okay. 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 So Sothis didn't attack me, which is good. Which is actually excellent. I'm not sure why she didn't attack me because I can't counterattack her, but she didn't. So, and I don't understand what's going on there either. Oh, she didn't have higher speed than me. That okay, that's very interesting. Okay, well there you go. And I can basically now survive um, anything Sothis is going to throw at me. Funny, 
Hopefully, anyway. <laughs> Okay, so I'm gonna die if I hit her. I'm gonna leave you there. Okay, okay, it looks like we got a chance here. We got a chance. Hopefully I don't just get one shot by this uh, Sothis. Come on, please don't kill me. Ooh. Okay. Let's go pop this. How much turns do we have left? Five? I got two turns to do this. Okay, how do I do this? How do I do this? Of course. Good morning. Ready. Fun funny. Maybe this way. Can I kill her? No, I can't. Okay. Uh oh. This is bad. I can't believe this. Yeah, this is bad. Uh, I might not be able to just kill her. Ooh, this is this is very bad. Um, yeah, because Sothis Sol sometimes turns out to be tanky, uh, way too tanky for me to kill. Okay, so let's see what happens if I do this. Damn it, Sothis keeps moving like right in the way where she shouldn't be. Or I don't want her to be. I need to find some way to get air over there. I mean, I should know where she's gonna move. She's not gonna. She's not moving anywhere unpredictable anyway. But um. I don't have enough speed to kill you. And I don't. Yeah, I was like dragon effectiveness, but it's like no, she's, she doesn't have dragon effectiveness. She doesn't have dragon weakness. Damn, I do no damage, and she hits me really hard. Understood. Death's caress. Do I have more attack than her? I have 56. The problem is I just can't double her, right? Uh, speed, so... She, yeah, she has way too much speed, apparently. Yes. 44. Oh, this is bad. Um, Death's caress. <laughs> it was so close. I'm gonna have to sit there and stare at that 45 staring back at me. Ugh. Of course. Ugh, how do I do this? I can go, I can put you here and then hit that. Yeah, there's no way I can get around Sothis. Not in one turn anyway. Not to get all the way over there. Who is she after? Is she after Loki? Starting to get really annoyed here. Um, Fun bunny. Yes. Cause if she is after Loki, what the hell? Why is she after Loki? I might not be able to kill her, honestly. Good morning. Uh, good thing she has reposition, cause then I can just reposition away. Okay. She's out of the healing tower range, right? Okay. 
So if I, I mean, I can get these two out of the way here, put her down here, and then flip her under here. Then she can only stand here and hit here and here. She can't hit here. Now, if I put you here, she's gonna come and hit me. I can put you here. If I put her, somehow get her over here and then toss her forward, that's one, two, one, two, and then I can touch that, right? This is, this is, for those of you uh, who actually uh, take anything from this, uh, this is not ideal. You don't really want to do this. Um, but I'm kind of desperate for these last five aether, so, like, I have the kill. I really should be taking the kill right here, but, um... I am one greedy bastard. Okay. So do I have the kill? I do not anymore, but I will be fine, I think. I just need to like leave her there, dance her, and then do it again. So one, two, one, two, yeah, okay. Uh, let's just hit her. I'm not gonna die, right? <laughs> right? <laughs> uh, I don't think I'm gonna die. Okay, so let's see. Please tell me Eric can kill her. Oh my gosh! It's happening! It's gonna happen! I am fighting for a chance to get to tier 27. Okay, so now I'm not in tier 27, <laughs> but I have a chance to be in there. Um, there we go. That was uh, stressful, to, to, to say the least. Gosh damn. <sighs> okay. So 165. 20 for bonus ally. So I'm missing 120 something. Uh, for 165, I think I can lose a person and still make it, which is pretty interesting. Uh, there we go. So 50. So here's the last one. Um, See if I can make it. This is uh, this is for the the whole thing. This is for tier twenty seven right here. Yep, let's get in there. No uh, if ands or buts about it. Okay, all right, all right, okay. So I can put Boki here, snipe her. I guess like dance Boki, put someone here, dance her, and then uh, put her here, and then have her. The problem is he's gonna stand here, hit her, and then activate uh, Nyorn Zeal, and then run around and hit someone else, which is, uh, needless to say, not uh, an ideal situation or scenario. Uh, and then um, I have to worry about getting hit by her. She does not have wind sweep, which is good. I think the strat here might just be to kill him. Uh, I can probably kill her, or probably kill him, kill her. Uh, definitely kill her. Maybe she'll attack me. Uh, she's got restore for, for neutralizes. Yeah, who cares? Um, so yeah, she's got restore. If I snipe him, she has to move out of the way to do something else over here and then move here. Oh, the problem being that uh, Veronica is a huge pain in my face. Um,. How to go about this, really? <sighs> That's not a merged, and she doesn't have the um, attack speed push four. So this may just be a bit of overconfidence talking here, but I really do think that I have a chance at surviving that because, okay, so here, here's the deal, right? 
I need to survive a hit from her. She has hardy bearing, so I can't um, pre-hit her. But she'll hit me once. Yeah, she'll hit me once. I think I should just one-shot her back. Um, and then again, so like her, probably just uh, one-shot her. One-shot that guy. Uh, this guy here, again, he's going to be the sketchiest one. Because, I mean, I might be able to just survive her straight up. Um, she doesn't seem fast enough. Not to mention, we've all got attack. Let's see, you're getting an attack boost. No. Oh, wait, yeah, she is. Hold on. Okay, okay, yeah. So I think, yeah, I think that's the plan, right? Uh, test this out and then move everybody around. Make sure no one gets hit by anything. Um, then... Uh, Put her here, smite her forward here, and then stand here and then hit him. Uh, and then everybody else kind of just barrels into you again, as always. Uh, what what should I bring in this in this situation? Uh, in this scenario, probably this is going to be better. Um, yeah, I mean anything with a verse on, it's going to be pretty good here. Uh, what do you have? Nothing. Got extra damage here, but no. I kind of want the two dancers. They have the duo thing. They do not have the duo thing, so I can use that if I want to. But I don't think I need... I don't think the, the issue here is damage. I think it's more survivability. Um, and I'm starting to think maybe I should just... Uh, stick with um, close counter over close ward. Because a lot of times it ends up you, ends up, you end up fighting against a lot of... Uh, like bows or, or physical range units, but not a whole lot of close range units. So the the, the plus five to attack and and defense isn't always as useful. Uh, I think you get the plus five attack and defense even against range units, which is pretty good. Uh, but it's never on initiation, and I usually end up initiating on them because like the the mage un the mage users usually end up being like you could just kill them easily, right? So they usually have to engage on people like him. Of course. Uh, this is all without considering the idea that they might end up uh, moving on their own like they did last time. Because um, I still don't know how to avoid that. Um, it's tricky indeed. Yeah, but I think I think I'm just gonna have to bite it and, and try that. Um, just kill him. Hopefully, I can survive everybody else. Um, yeah. Okay, where are you? We're gonna take you. Still clinging to hope. Uh, where is my? You're you're here. Uh, da, da, da. Healing tower is here, so it's hitting all these and not these, which is fine. Um, question is, of course, as always, will I be able to kill this guy? Uh, I can obviously double him. Okay, so there's nothing there. So really, there's no reason I shouldn't just do it now. Uh, I was gonna wait for the healing tower to heal me, but uh, if, if it didn't do any damage, that's fine. Okay, so I can kill you. Is she doing zero damage because she's doing zero damage, or is she doing zero damage because... Um, For some other reason. Yeah, I guess he's minus three and then I take seven. So this is forty one to my forty five. Uh I guess. Let's uh hopefully nothing stupid happens. Um The issue going to be is that she's gonna stand here and then hit me. But that's fine. She's only gonna hit me for one and then I'm gonna just counter her for a bunch of damage anyway. Okay. Alright, well, uh, it's out of my hands now, so... 
let's see. You're gonna she he is going to give her plus six attack and speed, which is gonna drop her by another six. Attack and speed, right? Yeah. Uh, what I want to do now is probably. So if I if I was a greedier person, which I generally tend to be, right? I mean, I generally I think you've, we've all seen uh, how greedy I can be when it comes to this game. Um, I would stand her here so that she gets her buffs onto her, right? Because she gets uh, plus attack and speed in cardinal direction. So put her here and have her give her that. Uh, but dance her and then put her here so that I can get the plus four attack speed from here onto her. Um, is that worth it? I think so, because, I mean, for one, Aversa has such a huge health stat that hopefully, even if something stupid happens where, like, they come and attack Aversa, hopefully she can survive that. Um, and we'll push her down just to get her a little further out of harm's way. Uh, I guess we won't. Um, and we'll do that. Let's see how this works. Okay. Okay, so she restored, which is good. She's actually fantastic, which means I don't have to take any damage from her. Uh, oh, okay, well, she's doing that. So there's that. And she restored again for some reason. <laughs> okay. There you go. I got lucky on the uh, Veronica. For some reason, she didn't attack. <sighs> that is... Oh, my gosh. My heart, like, sank right there. I thought she was going to die. <sighs> Damn. Okay. Well... Now it's just a simple matter of cleaning everything up. And this guy is not going to die for some reason. That's weird. Certainly. I can kill you, or I can move over there. Yes. Fun. So let's kill you. So big and strong. I'll sit you with this. Good morning. Sit you now. I can't believe this. There you go. <sighs> a massive scrub like me made it into tier 27 on light season. I can't believe this. This is supposed to be a stronger season too. I can't believe I'm so like excited over it. Um, let's see if I got a red chair this season. 4,000, I think. Is that enough? Uh, so tier, awesome. There you go, tier 27. Uh, no, I need to be top three, but there you go. That's a, that's a good example of what I was talking about uh, last season, right? Last season, I got my red share, which means I was in top 3,000 without even getting into tier 27. So it comes down to like where people are. So since there's been uh, more light season units out or light mythics and people have had more time to get merges on them, um, people's score is higher during... Uh, light season which means people make it into tier 27 easier uh while um it's harder to get into top 3k because like like i said everybody has that boost to their light uh to their light season um so when everybody gets boosted up tiers become easier to enter enter and exit but ranks are still as difficult as they they, they are always um and also like i think you know, it's a combination of like I had a pretty good performance last season um, on offense, and I had a decent performance on defense. Uh, I didn't fall into the third bracket of the, the defense lift there, uh, where this time I think I did. Um, at least I think I didn't go below that third bracket. I'm not entirely sure. I don't remember. Um, I don't remember going that far down, but uh, yeah. So just uh, one of those things for people to keep in mind is that like it'll be easier to move up in the tiers, even though I mean you saw how difficult it was uh, this week for me. Uh, it'll be easier to move up in the tiers than it is to move up in the rankings because everybody's going to have that, like, it's a boost to everybody at the same time. Uh, but yeah, so there we go. Uh, getting getting pretty consistent at this uh, tier 27, uh, at least on, on Astra. It's been it's been not too bad on, on light season. Uh, just this, this season, I guess, was really hard for some reason. Um, but yeah, uh, so, you know, good luck on everybody else trying to get up there to uh, tier 27 get those grails uh start uh maxing those grail projects um and yeah that'll be it for today uh this will probably won't come out till tuesday so you know yep <laughs>